So that was crazy. So I got some <clears throat> got some crazy news today. Um so you know we've been going down this trail of uh you know low platelets, uh low blood cells and all, all this stuff, messed up uh bone biopsies, you know, saying that there's bone blast and all this stuff. Then a couple months ago, uh, you know, I got this, you know, I saw this doctor and he said, well, let's, uh, let's increase your, your copper. Okay. So I've been taking like eight to 10 milligrams by mouth a day. And I've been, uh, there's this chocolate that uh my wife got for me that supposedly has a uh, bunch of copper supplements in it well the copper the copper supplement i've been taking uh got off of got off and got it off of amazon uh my granddaughter's been taking it too is kind of weird you know her platelet's low she's got short gut syndrome or had short gut syndrome when she was born so she's got a reason to have you know deficiencies but my general practitioner said that you know most people don't get low copper so don't know really why so anyway in a nutshell uh, I've been taking eight to 10 milligrams of this stuff a day for the last two months and my levels are 66. Uh, they've increased none whatsoever. Um, there was a comment made uh, which, you know, I'm not, I can't really disclose who made the comment, but anyway, that some people need copper injections instead of oral medications. So going back to this thing, you know, my platelets are still low. They're at 65. So back to the other thing, uh, misdiagnosed MDS is a possibility uh, because of the, the platelets. So, you know, I was pretty deflated uh, the other day when I posted a video and it was like, you know, I thought, wow, my platelets are low and it's just like, you know, where is this thing going? And so now that... Uh, my copper is still low. I don't feel so bad. I don't feel as deflated as I felt like the other day. Because I was thinking, uh, you know, I've been taking all this copper. And I was expecting my copper to be, you know, you know, way up. And platelets are still low. And I was still anticipating, like, oh my gosh, having to go through chemo and stem cell and all this stuff well maybe not maybe not so hopefully you know I've, I've read uh cases online that once they got the copper uh back at where it was supposed to be all the stuff in the bone marrow started disappearing and platelets started leveling up and getting to where they were supposed to be. Um, so that's, that's where we're at. We're at possibly, um, maybe copper injections to get my copper up, you know, to 
to get this other stuff working like it's supposed to be working. Because I wouldn't think that they would want to do the chemo and stem cell without, you know, getting the copper up and making sure that, you know, that's exactly what's wrong. So, there you go. Copper's, copper's still low, even with updosing. And uh, ho hopefully that'll do something. Peace out. Love each other. Treat each other good. You don't really know what tomorrow's bringing. So there you go. Peace out.